Hello everybody, Alex Elliott here, PJ Gold Professional. Now today we're gonna be eliminating that terrible move of swaying in the golf swing. I mean, swaying in the golf swing. We've tried everything, right? And I bet you've tried some stuff and you feel like you've got so much less power. I know how you feel. So let's get into today's video. We're gonna be talking about eliminating your sway in the backswing and the downswing. Now, you'll be watching this video as a serial swayer of the golf ball. And let's just briefly sort of get into what that is. Now, I have to say, this is gonna be absolutely vital from doing this drill. So don't worry, if you've not got a chair, at the driving range, you could just simply put an alignment stick to the side of you, or if you want to, I would really recommend doing the first part of this video at home. Yes, you heard me, at home. There's gonna be a couple of stages to this. So what do I put and what do I classify as a serial swayer? Well, somebody who struggles with fat, thin, and struggles controlling that club face, and actually getting some power in the golf swing. Is all this starting to sound a little bit like you? So if I put that in a nutshell here, what does that look like? It looks very much sort of lateral with the hips, lateral with the hips. And that would be sort of backswing aspect, downswing aspect. So to eradicate that out of our golf game, we're gonna follow this simple step process. And I promise you, no matter if you're young, old, new, been playing this golf game for ages, you are gonna be able to follow along and take the sway out of your golf game. Oh, I just gotta hit one away here. Feel turn and turn. Oh, that strike. Okay, so let's bring in the chair. Now, I actually want you to think about this as a two-step process. So something that you can do at home, and then you can take it to the driving range as I am doing right now. Because if you can think about it in two stages, I really think it helps part mentalize exactly what we're gonna do. Too often, golfers will take something straight to the range, not get the results they want, and then they get so disheartened, we leave the session absolutely hating what we've just done. No longer does that have to be the case. So I've got my chair. I'm gonna place a golf club just across my chest to begin with, and I actually want you to have a fingertip distance away from this chair, okay? Just a fingertip. Now, if you think of you as a slicer, we were sort of breaking down this and working through the chair like this, right? Not good, and this sort of got us a little bit swaying on the way through. What I want you to feel here is, and this is a really nice feeling, sorry to turn my back to you right now, you're going to feel as though your right pocket, back pocket, is gonna be moving around, okay? So I want you to create a bigger gap than what you started with between your right hip and the chair to what you're gonna have at the top of the backswing. And keep it loosey-goosey, keep it nice and simple. So get in there, just like this, create a bigger gap. Now, one thing that is gonna feel probably a lot to you guys who are slicers is, this is gonna feel like you're pretty much turning a little bit more on the spot because you've not been doing that. You've had a lot more of this. We want more of this. I absolutely love this as the first stage and what my task is for you before you even entertain this down the driving range, go and do 10 reps, just 10 reps at home. Get the chair behind side of you, get the sofa beside of you, get something, even your desk at work, something here and you're feeling as though you're getting a bigger gap between where you started with the chair and your right side Okay, to where you're gonna finish. Now you can really see how I'm turning onto my right hand side, but I'm using the keyword there, turning and tilting, not sliding and then swaying. Okay, so think about this video as two part process for each backswing and downswing. That's part one of the backswing. Let's get into part two. So moving that chair out of the way, we need to have something where we can actually hit some golf balls, right? So what I would simply feel, and there's two options here for you. Number one, place an alignment stick just outside your right foot. Hit some golf balls away, and I would hit some golf balls away with the method that I call freezers. So it's just to the top, feeling again that my right hip is getting further away from my alignment stick. So freeze, hit really feeling as though I'm getting further away. We could also, which actually, if I'm honest right now, I much prefer this one. I would use a basket. 
Now I would place a basket just outside your right foot. Now this takes a little bit of imagination, like with a lot of my analogies. Let's imagine this was a big building that came all the way up here, okay? What we're trying to feel exactly like we had with the chair there, our right hips getting further away from the building, we're really feeling as though we've got to coil up. Now this is really going to help us in the downswing. And again, I would simply work through that process called freezers. We're going to stand in there, get the basket just outside our right foot, because again, you sliders, we would sort of see more of that motion into that basket. And we're going to pause, just hit it away. And really get that feeling of being a little bit more centered, being a little bit more coiled, and not seeing any of this. So I was hitting golf balls just before, really nice and simply. Basket, imagine this was working up here. Again, like I said with the chair, make that gap bigger. You can really see what this is gonna help me achieve in my golf swing. So that's the end of part one of this video. So we're gonna go straight into part two right now on the same video, which is getting into downswing. So if you think right now, we've really got you coiled. Simple expression, right hip away from the building or the chair, go through that process. Bit at home, bit of the range. And you'll really start to see some improvements and maybe even do a bit at home in between each session. Now, if you are enjoying this video at any point, I really would appreciate it if you could hit that big red subscribe button and obviously that thumbs up button. It helps me and it helps this channel grow. Right, let's get into downswing. How do we stop that sway? Let's now get into part two. And I think a lot of you will have this worry of sliding, and not enough turn, and not firing these hips in the downswing. I've got another simple one for you here, and I'm gonna use this chair because I like things that we can do at home that make big, big inroads in what we're trying to do in our golf game. And this is something where you can work on your backswing in part one, and now part two, your downswing. So what we're gonna need here is roughly about six inches distance between your hip, and the chair. Now, this is really key, and I think that you've got to understand that if you're a slider of the golf ball, potentially you've got a little bit of weak glute strength. If you're a slider of the golf ball, you're not happy about firing these hips, okay? So I've got some objectives for you, and I've got a little bit of an analogy to go along with that. So we're getting roughly six inches away from the chair. A slider would come into the golf ball and sort of just stay on this chair. And then it gets really quite handsy, really quite scoopy, and no real space for us to hit anything. A golfer that creates more of a shift and turn would have the ability to get their right pocket onto this chair. A slider would block themselves off and never have that ability. Now, what I want you to think about this is, it's that 1% better, no matter if you're old, new, whatever. So it's about getting that 1% better at this. So again, a little bit of distance, maybe even try flaring that left foot. I know that helps a lot of other golfers. It definitely helps me. So away from the chair on the way back, we're then gonna feel keeping our chest in this direction. Shift, turn, posting onto that left leg, into impact meet the chair, okay? Now this is really, really key. And I would really encourage us to do this slowly and find this process and gradually increase the speed with the golf club across our chest. Gradually make it more flowing. And then when we feel comfortable, just to make some fresh air swings. I would step maybe a little bit further forward, so the chair is just on this side of us. But again, really making sure that we're getting our right pocket to meet the chair, rather than, like I said, if you are a serial slider, as well, yeah, whatever word we want to use, we're never going to allow this to happen. It might be an afterthought. So really, really look at these two differences. We're doing some two slow-mos over this now. We've got sliders. We've got shift and turners. And we definitely want to be closer towards that latter than we are the first one, yeah? So really nice and simple, at home, just really work on that feeling. 
You even maybe feel like you're grabbing the air, okay? Keeping your chest there. Turn the hips, rotate into the left, right pocket on. Look at my sequence. Look at this from face on. Really getting a good sequence to what we're trying to do. So hitting some shots away, this is what I'd recommend. So if we're gonna take that concept of the chair into now something where we've got a basket exactly as we did in the backswing, I would simply, again, place that basket just outside of my, my left foot now, not my right foot, and really get that feeling of allowing that right pocket to sit on top of that basket. That would really make sure that we've got a lot more turn in there as opposed to a lot of slide. Now, it's really important that we leave today's lesson with that concept of right hip away, shift and turn, into impact, all the way through. That will allow us to eliminate that sway, eliminate that slide in the golf swing. And I've said this before on the channel, it's about doing mini steps. I told you that it'd be great if you could do that slowly at home with the chair, and the same thing here on the golf course. Let's create some slow versions of what we're trying to do, rather than just rush ourselves into this. It's very, very important that we follow this step-by-step -step guide. And you can see here, we had two parts to stage one, two parts to stage two, in terms of backswing and downswing. So guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope that is really giving you a great insight on how you can eliminate swaying, sliding, whatever terminology we want to use. You can see that a little bit of slide on the way down with some turn is actually what we're wanting. But too much, too little, can get us in trouble. Follow this simple guide, try it at home, take it to the range, and I honestly will tell you this right now. If you work on this, just 10 swings at home without a golf club, you will get better. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, don't forget to subscribe.